Rockies. It's me, Explosive Phoenix, and welcome. We're on May the 4th, which is annual Star Wars Day. I've got my Star Wars gear on and everything also. And it's May the 4th. It's an annual Star Wars holiday. It happens every year on May the 4th. It's a Star Wars holiday. It's for the Star Wars fans. And these are my reasons why May the 4th is significant to Star Wars fans. On May the 4th, it's an annual holiday to celebrate Star Wars as a franchise. It's to celebrate the characters, the organizations that make up the universe around Star Wars. It's to enjoy the movies of the franchise, to follow the characters through their journeys, through the films and TV shows of Star Wars. It's a one holiday annually that fans of a galaxy far, far away can come together as one and cherish the franchise as a whole, how it affects us in real life, and how it binds us together as one. Now, I'm, gonna go, I'm going into May the 5th for a second here. May the 5th, the next day after May the 4th, is also a Star Wars holiday. As we celebrate the bad guys of the Star Wars universe and the Sith Lords, Bounty Hunters, Empire, Black Sun, other organizations, etc. May the 4th is a day that's most devoted to Star Wars fans so that they can celebrate what they most love, and that's to watch and talk about Star Wars on the annual holiday for Star Wars. It's a time when Star Wars fans unite in order to community of fans that are devoted to the fandom who have supported Star Wars as a whole. On May the 5th, the evil organizations are nominated and they are chosen by, and they're, they are beloved by fans and people that like those organizations and they just cringe in terror when they see like the Emperor and Darth Vader, Darth Maul, etc. of those Sith Lords. May the 4th is a huge day to be a Star Wars fan if you're celebrating Star Wars. If not, that's fine as well. Because Star Wars is not for everybody. And it's if it's not for everybody, and if it's not your, your choice and what you like, that's totally fine. I understand. Um, May the 4th. Is a huge holiday though for Star Wars fans because we unite as one basically and we celebrate Star Wars. We do it, we can do it by listening to music of Star Wars, watching the movies, talking about the shows as a group, even, um, even coming together as one. Um, May the 5th is just a special day for Sith characters, but you could also celebrate the Sith characters on May the 4th as well. Um, and it's because of a lot of it, it's because of Star Wars. If we didn't say it, for instance, if we didn't have Star Wars, I don't know where we where this world would be to this day, because Star Wars has been around all forever, it feels like. And to me, that's a really great positive feeling. If you've got a franchise like Star Wars that's been around for a long time and has been captivated, and cherished, and enjoyed by a million of fans, then you're in good company. It's beloved by fans, and that's a positive, good positive thing about Star Wars. Y you know, it just helps build the franchise all together that we have holidays like May the 4th, Force. Short for May the Force be with you, but we just call it May the Fourth because it's a day to celebrate Star Wars. Heck, even May the Fifth can also be a Star Wars day as well if you consider it that. Because May the Fifth, short for May the Sith, <laughs> but actually it's Revenge of the Sith. I like to say it, is how it's best said. Um, yeah, and it's to celebrate. The bad guys, the villains, all that stuff of Star Wars. The bad guys, and, and you can also celebrate by reading the comics, for instance, on May the 4th or 5th. I mean, both days I consider a Star Wars holiday. And 
they should be treated as that. And I don't see as much love on May the 5th as, for instance, May the 4th gets. But still, overall, it's a franchise that, love it or hate it, it's going to be around for a very, very long time. Um, and it just helps captivate those that are searching for a franchise that they want to watch. And they really enjoy and are looking for something to watch. Go watch Star Wars. It's been around since the 90s. It's it's huge. It's a huge popular fan base also. So if you want to get into the fandom and you want to get onto, for instance, a group of people or a Facebook or Facebook group or something else that you want to talk about and you want to join, then that's out there for you for Star Wars. It's a huge holiday to be a Star Wars fan on May the 4th. And it's special also for the fans that celebrate Star Wars on May the 4th and 5th as they're devoted to them. And it's annual holiday both May 4th and 5th. And they are there for anybody that wants to celebrate the Star Wars. I I like how we have May the 4th and 5th for Star Wars. As they're the holidays for Star Wars, they I feel like they need to be felt like holidays for Star Wars. Star Wars is going to be around for a long time. And lastly, I feel... We're moving in the right direction with fan base of Star Wars. There's a lot of I'm noticing a lot of stuff around the internet's around the internet sites. A lot of it's Star Wars related, and that's really cool and awesome because we're in a generation where Star Wars is becoming more and more popular to the younger generation, and it's getting still more popular to the older generation as well. Um. Be sure to like, comment, and, comment, and subscribe. I have more Star Wars content on the way on the channel. Um, I also have more of Tokusatsu stuff coming up on the channel. I have more... I have newer stuff that you guys haven't seen yet coming up on the channel. Um, and there's a lot of more explosive action-y shows. There's going to be more movie reviews, everything. This is a good day to be a Star Wars fan. And peace out. May the Phoenix watch over you guys, guard you guys, protect you. Always. This is Explosive Phoenix out. And I will catch you guys on the next video, which will be out next week. I haven't decided what it will be, but I'll come up with it probably in the next couple of days. And then I will film it, and then you guys can view it and watch it. But anyways, this is Explosive Phoenix out saying, May the Force be with you always! Bye, guys!